Are you ready? Let it go, let it rumble. You ready? Yeah. Alright guys, this is the pilot episode of Mike Klein's vlog. We don't have a name for it yet. Uh, today, I don't know where we're going because the guys know that it drives me up the wall. This is Dave by the way. It drives me up the wall not knowing when I'm riding my bike. I usually, I usually decide, that's why they do it. <laughs> so, the, I usually decide where I'm riding my bike the week before. So we have Dave, we have off-grid Steve, and we have Neely, and we're missing two of our gang. <laughs> so where are we going then? Where are we going? What about either Catlochry or Dunkel Burn? The good hillside. Stay away from the good hill. Okay. Well, the good hill's a bit. Does everyone know where the good hill is? That's a secret. It's not good anymore. It's not good anymore because <laughs> it's been failed. <laughs> I would do lagging if folk could be bored going up there. Oh, decision made! Lagging. This is the neat. Yeah, lagging it is! Okay, everybody, welcome to the bit of the show called Where It's At. This is where I show you how to get to the trailhead of the many secret and off piece trails in Scotland. So, as you can see, I am using the Pink Bike app, Trail Forks. Uh, I hope you've all got it on your phone. It's an amazing tool for trail hunting around the globe. Uh, yep, I think the globe is still there. Yeah, the globe's still there. So today's trail is called Ilsa's Revenge. Now it's not actually on Trail Forks, but I can tell you that it's next to this trail in Lagan. Let's zoom in. We have, there we go. So there we have Lagan. So anyway, this right hand side is trail center. If we zoom in, you see the main road and we can cut across up the fire road along to here there's a wide, big wide junction up the hill to steep bit of single track and then head up onto this a uh, little bit here we've got lag and brown it's orange and the trailhead is right next to that there's a little viewpoint up here well worth going up to look it's Dundalam, an old pictish fort uh, during the second world war the home guard built a shelter there um, definitely worth going up to have a wee look so I have the what's three word code for this exact location of the trail because as you can see in here we don't have a trailhead so the what three words code is if I just bring it up prowess flickers silly if you don't know what three words is go and check it out on Google so it's been raining for probably about a month here in Scotland and to say we struggled in the grease and wet has been kind about it Anyway, hope you enjoy, and let's go right in. With our thing tape on it. And Dave's taking it off after I was secretly slagging him for it whilst he was at the toilet. What was the excuse for using earth tape, earthing tape? Black. Well, you could have gone out and got black tape. <laughs> <laughs> My bat belt. Nothing yeah. wrong with my bat belt. I've got pliers, I've got a whistle. Cable Nothing wrong with the whistle, I can't reach it though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, help. Right, I'm getting a s I'm getting slagged off here, I'm gonna just head down the hill I think. Right. <laughs> okay. There's a turn! I thought it was going that way. The fucking rules are right. The rules are right. Hey, you hear them, eh? Hey, there was a bit of a false start there. You can watch yourself on these rocks. Now we're going to a new trail. It's a bit of a bizarre one. It's a scary drop to begin with. Up. 
All right, everyone. It's going very wet here. Oh, it's greasy. All right, hopefully this is going to go event free. Oh, it's drifty as Oh, it's so greasy. All right. This is a new lagging trail. Made up for one of the races. It joins up into a few older pieces. I'm not riding it very proficiently because it's so greasy. Right, let's see what more grease we've got. I want all the games. Oh, I can't see my bloody goggles are all steamed up. I'm not sure I'm going to carry all my goggles. Oh, it's starting to clear up finally. Bunny hop. Oh yeah, bees are so slidey. I don't know if it would be better if there was having people having ridden it. I just hit my handlebars off the tree there. Did you see that? I'm gonna kill myself on a bit of trail like this. Utterly mad. Utterly mad, I tell you. Speed single track. Launching. That's sliding in there. Somehow I bunny hopped over that. I don't know how. Super slidey in here today. Woo! Can we go on? Off the line in a few places. <laughs> that was a wild end. Okay, we're coming to the best bit of the end of the ride, which is our tasty coffee and burgers at Black Wolf Tracks Cafe. So folks, that was Ailsa's revenge at Lagan. Lagan is almost in the middle of nowhere, nestled in the highlands, so I imagine if you do come up to ride, you want to ride more than one trail. Lagan has 26 trails according to Trail Forks, but realistically it's only got about 12 trails to make a decent loop out of. So here's my recommended ones to make a fun filled time of your day. If we zoom in, let's just drag that down, bits more obvious. Park at Lagan Wolf Tracks and head up the fire road for a decent warm up on the lower red and then I would just head all the way back up again up onto the upper red climb and then split and do the spicy black route. Uh, once you get to the bottom of there just head halfway up again and uh, head down for a wee shot of the Flotastic Orange Trail. Once you get back to the car park, cross over as previously described and then get past this Y junction here uh, Miss this first left here, it's not very good and head along to two trails, either Spongebob or Spongebob's Cousin and I would recommend Spongebob's Cousin head down there and then follow the fire track road along and just take it all the way up to the mast uh, There's two trails here, there's Moby Dick and we have Orca, and I'm not a fan of Moby Dick to be honest, it's quite a lot of hard work but if you just head up the path and then split left uh, before it goes right up the hill uh, you will find Orca, which is a really good fun trail so once you've done that, come back to the Y Junction just heading up what would be classed as SES 2015 Stage 5 it's really just a walking path hit the Y Junction 
uh, and then head up to Dundee Lamb and you've got a few choices up there you could probably do Honey Monster which is a really good trail and then back up I would probably ride either Ailsa's Revenge or Brown Bath and a day like that it's probably going to be about 3,000 feet of vertical riding and sure to have filled your day with plenty of thrills and spills as for Ailsa's Revenge after a highly scientific analysis of the track we can give a Scottish technical trail grading out of 5 of a 2 keeps you on your toes stay tuned for the next instalment of Klein's Lines and don't forget to subscribe.